day everyone this this video particularly is based on teaching you how to be able to successfully dog into your jam portal this 2025 this works for 2022 23 24 25 so now they are very very there are many important there are many things you can actually do from your end when you are able to log in to your jump portal so i i hope most of you know let me like list out some few things you can do on your own like being able to monitor your admission that is number one checking your admission status then number two your transfer approval your you can print your acceptance letter your jump acceptance letter by yourself you can print your jump results original results by yourself and there are a lot of things which you can do when you are able to log in to the portal but these consequences or the disadvantage of not being able to log into your portal is whatever you need to do you must go to a cbt center to get it done because even the features that are available to you you cannot use them so i'm going to actually break it down if you've lost your password that you can retrieve it then if you don't even know how to log in at all i'm going to start from square one so you follow this video i'll take time i will arrange the video not to be very very long but for it to still carry all the important information so you need to just watch the video to the end and pay close attention so i'm breaking everything down even the things you know there's a there explanation the advanced explanation i'll give on them that you might have not heard it before so you might have not heard, that, heard something about that before so just follow the video to the end and don't make sure don't forget to subscribe if you like the channel and the type of video on it you take a look at the channel i will not force you but if you like the channel you subscribe thank you now following the screen you will see that I logged into the jam portal you can see the link that I see facility.jam.gov.ng so I'm trying to log in so trying to log in now that is where our story starts from for you to effectively log in you need to have your email and your password some people go to this create an account which is very very bad it's it's not like Facebook or any other social media where you are the one that creates account for yourself no jump is not like that the thing is they are the one that creates account for you they send you the password and you are just supposed to log in if you register jump like any other student then you should be able to log in because jump will send the password that you need to log in to you now you cannot you cannot just create account like that like facebook or anything you need to get your email during registration you have you provided an email so the email should be should be what you use to log in and actually the password will be sent to your email also so you use it to log in so most of you cannot locate where this password is so that is the major reason of this video so we we'll help you to locate it so now you, you start from step one which is we'll go to your email so step one which is we we'll go to your email now we are going to your email so you can use actually you can use your phone to do this but me i'm not using my phone so i'm using my pc for it so i need to i need to manually locate my email so i'm trying to log into my email so i searched email inbox and i'm trying to log in so please let's be patient for my email to actually lo load yeah it's trying to load so i think it's because of network and bulky emails mails where I, that i have in mails that i have in my inbox so i think that's why it's taking time to to load but now look at it so now that I'm, I'm in my inbox already since i have plenty mails so for me to locate the one i need to set jump and actually search it so that we see all the emails all the emails that came from jam directly so that i can be able to so i can be able to identify the one that we want so after searching for that jump we need to look for the particular one that carries the the password before we can log in so if, you, if, we, if we don't see those those emails then this is not the email that you used to register for that if you register for jump and you provided email then this step will work for you but if you did not provide your email during jump registration i think you can go back to the cbt and link your email to your jump and the message will be sent to you immediately then that is the message you use to log into your jump portal now i have different 
mails that carries jump so i'm trying to actually look for the particular one that we want All right i think i've seen one this one this one yeah okay sorry that is not it sorry it's taking time I'm trying to look for the particular email all right i've seen it this email that carries utma registration slip this the first confirmation that if you see this email in your if you see this mail in your e inbox it means that actually you provided your email and it was successfully linked during your registration so let me try to click on it so after waiting for it to load this is what you will have you have some basic information here informations like your registration number your name so like i said this is just like a confirmation for you to know that yes you registered email you re your email was linked during your registration so we need to go back and look for the one that carries the password okay look at that one update of like profile creation details yes so when you see this profile creation details this is the one that you need and this is the one that you are going to use to log in so you locate the profile creation details the email the mail sorry i don't know which one is correct i'm not an english i'm not an english student sorry so this is the mail that carries your password as you can see there is password here i'm going to cover it for security reasons and there is email here there is nin and there are other delicate information so i'm going to be covering this information here for security reasons but this is it if you want to go once you come to this spot you will see your password and your email so now let's head back efacility.jam.gov.ng this is where you're supposed to come for us to use that particular thing to log in i have it saved already so i'm just imputing it into the the place to log in so i'm logging in i'm logging in already and so this is what the jam portal looks like and with this jam portal there are a lot that you can do like number one you can actually use it to i said it i i give what you can do i gave what you can do like i listed them out at the introduction of this video so there are a lot of things you can do logging into this particular place you can do correction of data actually you can check you can pay for correction of data you can print your admission letter that is where the distant is standing you can print your original results you can check your admission status let's take a trip to this admission status so you see what i'm talking about so let's click the admission status and let's see what i'm talking about so let's go to assess by caps i know you must be a, you must be hearing of damp caps so let's check the caps so you know how uh, you should complete this video please before you before you try your own out so you not miss out on anything so now this is let's try clicking the jump caps assess my caps before you do that select the correct year if you see 2025 there if it is 25 if you see 24 there if it is 24 so just make sure that the right distance is selected and click assess my caps then will be you'll be taken to this place where you can actually check for transfer approval let's click on it and that you see what transfer approval looks like this is what transfer approval looks like what transfer approval actually means is when once you've been transferred to a new course it will appear there and you accept it before you be given admission then this a level result you see if you are a direct entry student that is where you upload your nc your nd results and everything your o level and everything also is here mind you cannot upload your o level a level results by yourself look at this is how it should be you cannot upload them by yourself so just in case you need help you can actually message me on whatsapp i'll drop my number here for you i will actually help you to do the uploading and even if there is any problem you face in the course of assessing your portal you can actually and this is our admission status so you see if you've been given admission or not then you accept it from here before it can reflect on your school portal that's so that's how a well organized admission process works and so that is it is your regular admission status this is your admission comes you accept you print admission data and everything so 
i think by this you are coming to the end of this video if you like videos like this they are all on this channel and in case we make new ones so just subscribe to get notified notified when